So we were talking earlier about the, the pup. How old? She just turned two. Loves the city. Really, really loves the city. She's so expressive. She just wants to be near us all the time. Loves people, loves other dogs. And it's really like, anytime you're around her, you're, your anxiety just goes way down. So we were talking about COVID. Obviously, you're now a New York resident. Uh, how's the city different? City's different just because it's a lot more calm. Um, but again, the luxury that New York has is it's New Yorkers. It's always been resilient. You talk about 2001, 2008, all the way till now, it's really been a special place. You know, you turn the corner, right around the corner, you don't know what you're gonna get. There's gonna be a new adventure, Hello. something new. And, uh, you know, occasionally you'll get that too. So how much quieter is it now? A lot quieter. So in June, we got out here for the first time. We probably spent a week in the city and it was very quiet, uh, almost desolate after the riots as well. And it was uh, just had an eerie vibe and aura and energy around it to where now I feel like people are doing a lot better of job of, of, of living with COVID, respecting people's space, and just having the essence of, of New York back. I'm not really sure how it's going in other places because I haven't traveled too much, but you know, it seems that people are doing a better job and hopefully respecting each other. How did you feel about not being part of the bubble? It was tough. For me, it's to have those games cut short, uh, not by injury, by something completely out of the ordinary that we hadn't seen in our lifetime is, is just really tough. So I would have loved to have been down there, um, but I didn't take this time for granted, continue to grow, work on my fund, and you know, continue to keep my body right in, you know, in the case that we, that we went back to work and you yeah. know, continue to be in this holding pattern now. All right, have you taught her any tricks? Yeah, I mean, she, she heals really well. Um, you know, we shake, we paw, we still want to teach her bang. She's just such a great dog. Off, off, come on, off. But they're working dogs, they, they want to please you, so we'll, we'll teach her that. We want to get her to roll. She just, she's great. Anybody that you know that was in the bubble, um, what have they told you in terms of what it was like? Just different, even talking to media members as well. Um, they were just saying how, not just physically draining, but mentally it was so draining. I had talked to a number of players, um, you know, that was actually reaching out for help or, you know, trying to get with the, the team therapist that everybody oh, has really? on the team now. Yeah, it was, you know, I'm, I'm struggling down here. Is there somebody that I can reach out to? And, and you know, thankfully, not only at my fund, but through the through the league and through the NBA PA, we've had the resources now, which you know, I'm hoping will continue to grow and we'll keep pushing that. But just, you know, what therapy's like. Hey, listen, I'm open to it. This has been a tough time for me. I'm away from my family because they weren't able to even have family members until I believe seven weeks in. And it's only one person. People miss their kids, you know, not able to go home. You know, it's taking toll not only on the physical physical component, but really from a mental side too. What do you think of the job Adam Silver's done? Incredible. No positive cases, you know, how everything played out, the product that they put out there on the floor, the virtual fans, getting people's family members there when they got into the playoffs, the product of the game uh -huh. was so good. I mean, so many guys really played out of their minds. Tell us a little bit about where we are. Well, they say the best part of Jersey is actually the view of the city. So, um, you know, at night, just being on the west side, it's pretty pretty great to, to get a shot of that. Obviously, we're facing west, so we get the sunsets. It's really amazing to then have the look south to the, the Statue of Liberty, which to me is, I think, the best national monument in the U.S. And, and why did you decide on this area in terms of where you wanted to live in the city? I think it's family-oriented. You pretty much have everything you need within arm's distance and then just a great place to walk. I like to be uh, near the water as well. I, you know, I grew up in Portland, Oregon, where, you know, really beautiful, beautiful city. So I want to be around the trees and the elements as well, just because that's kind of how I grew up.